this will help, will do. The square root of 49 plus 2x. Don't write it just yet. Because of this x at the top, uh, I may be better off to do something else. We'll see in a moment. So uh, du would be 1 over 2, the square root of 49 plus 2x times the inner function prime and times dx. So I like it so far because all this, as you see, dx over this is du. But before I jump up and down and be happy about it, I have to see this is not a number. There is not something like 2 and 1 half that I can make up very easily because 1 half times 2 is 1. This is a different story. Making this one up, it's a different situation. So let's see what happens when I square both sides. So I have u squared equals 49 plus 2x. And I can solve this for x and plug that in. I move 49, divide by 2, and that's my x which means that this piece is u squared minus 49 over 2. I'm happy with my substitution. I'm happy with what's happening, so I can move on. I can continue. So from here, I'm going to put a circle because I wrote so many different things in there. Do not copy the limits of integration. Careful. When I plug in 0 for x, the square root of 49 is 7. When I plug in 16, that's 49 plus 32, which is 81. So the square root of 81 will be 9. Now I can continue. This piece is this, replaced by u squared minus 49 over 2. And all this goes away and being replaced by du. I'm happy with what I have. I just have to move one half in front. Always try to make it as easy as possible. u squared minus 49 du. This is in the way. It bothers me. And it's not going to make any difference. Take it outside. So now we proceed with u cubed over 3. So one half can wait patiently. And we have u cubed over 3 minus 49u. Do not go back to x. There is no need. x is gone. And now I plug in. So I have 1 half 9 to the third over 3 minus 49 times 9 and minus 7 to the third over 3, but plus, remember there is a minus that I have to distribute, plus 49 times 7. Uh, I'm lazy. Well, actually, I'm not lazy because 49, when I factor out 49, 9 minus 7 is 2. So this is... Um, 49 times 2, so negative 98. 1 half is outside. Um, 7 to the third over 3, and 9 to the third over 3. OK, so um, this is simplifiable, but this isn't. So what's the point? So 9 to the third, uh, minus 7 to the third. OK, so I got 1 half in front, 3, 386. And I multiply this by 3, minus 3 times 98. So 294. OK, so the denominator is 6. And what do I get at the top? I get a 2, and I get a 9. 38 minus 29 is 9. 92 over 2, I can simplify. And I get what? 46 over 3. Again, I don't like to do that, but we can check. The reason I don't like it is because so I, I'm not saying it's difficult. I'm just saying, please, if you verify with this feature, it's a powerful feature, of course. 
but be very careful. So uh, 0 to 16. And make sure you don't enter the antiderivative. Because if you enter the anti -de enter the antiderivative, you're going to get not definitely not the correct answer. So this is x and divided by uh, the square root of 49. So how do you add the integral sign again? Uh, in math. So if you don't have an 84, it may not. 83 may not have it. So go to math and go up to, to number 9, I think it is. So go to math and go up. Scroll up to f int. So when I press enter, assuming I enter the function correctly, and then when I divide 46 by 3, if I don't get the same thing, then I know I'm I, I either did not enter the function correctly, which is very possible, very careful, or I have an error somewhere. So let me show this one again. So in math, go up right here, function int. Again, not all calculators have it, though. OK, I found it. Thank you. Great. Anything else you would like to look at? Well, I'll stop here for today. So let's let's start a little bit early, just 10, 15 minutes, just to make sure everyone is gets set.